بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دیئر سٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو دا آن لائن لیکچر آن میٹ لیب سیمیلیشن آف کنٹرول سسٹمز تو دی وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دس نیو پیپر روبسٹ اپروکسیمیٹ فکسڈ ٹائم ٹریکنگ کنٹرول فور انسرٹن روبوٹک مینیپولیٹرز دس پیپر ہز بین پبلش ان میکینیکل سسٹمز اینڈ سگنل پروسیسنگ ان 2020 and it's a fairly recent and has been shared by one of the viewers of the channel so i am thankful for the reviewers who share latest and useful papers uh, please note that i cannot simulate all of the papers that you share with me because uh, of different reasons mostly uh, you have to understand that uh, there are a lot of papers which uh, do not provide enough information within the paper itself Uh, that is required in order to simulate the results of the paper but uh, many of the good papers they do provide this information so here i will uh, try to make this channel uh, focus towards the latest and more impactful research there have been a lot of requests regarding the model predictive control and reinforcement learning uh, i will look into these as uh, i find time uh, from my schedule so uh, stay tuned with the channel so hopefully you know uh, in the long term we will have uh, papers that are important and they are uh, that are impactful in the control systems engineering research this paper addresses the problem of robust uh, trajectory tracking and a new sliding surface is uh, first proposed and this controller uh, provides uh, global approximate fixed time convergence and convergence to an arbitrarily small set uh, which is centered around zero within a uniformly bounded time uh, so overall it's a, it's a, it looks uh, a very useful and uh, good uh, controller for at least for the uncertain robot manipulators and as always we'll not go into the much details of the paper we'll just look into the system so this is the n degree of freedom rigid robot manipulator dynamics you can see here this is uh, the the matrix uh, the dynamics matrix and um, the centrifugal coriolis matrix c and uh, gravitational term g so these are this is a pretty standard model and in the end they have uh, uh, given the example of two degree of freedom uh, robot mode manipulator so we will be simulating a two degree of freedom where n will be equal to two and this q are the angles and angular rates of the robotic uh, joints so uh, the control that uh, has been proposed in this paper is basically um, basically this one so this is the sliding surface that has been proposed in the paper s is equal to the derivative of the error plus k1 times this is a special sig uh, function sp of error and k2 times another special function sig power q of error so sig power q Uh, this function has been defined here so this is sp function sp of x is equal to magnitude of x raised to the power p into sine of x uh, uh, where x is greater than or equal to some number delta and sp is equal to delta power p to the power minus 1 times x when x magnitude is less than delta and similarly this is fp function which is equal to f uh, p into magnitude of x raised power p minus 1 whenever magnitude of x is greater than equal to delta and it is equal to delta raised power p minus 1 whenever x magnitude is less than delta so uh, and and this sig q x function is just magnitude of x raised to the power q times the sine of x so they have defined these functions uh, for uh, making these equations look less messy so this uh, this is you know you can see this equation written in a nicer way because these two functions sp and sig q have been defined above for a vector case uh, 
this is just uh, component wise function sp you take for each component then that will be the sp of a vector similarly sig q of e a vector is sig q of each of the components similarly fp of a vector is fp of each of the components hq is not defined separately it's just defined right here that hq of a vector is a diagonal matrix where each of the diagonal entry is uh, magnitude of uh, a component of the vector raised to the power q minus one we will be using these in our uh, control simulation today so if you just uh, one second okay so the total control is uh, tau is equal to tau naught plus tau one plus tau two they have it has three terms and uh, tau zero this has been defined here so here m zero and c zero are and g zero are matrices with nominal values of the mass and uh, radius etc but uh, uh, you can use the actual value if you know the actual value and you can use the nominal value if you don't know the actual value and you if you only know the nominal values then uh, tau one is uh, this sig power r is same as sig power q instead of q we have r here so there instead of q here we have r and m m naught times q so times k1 fp fp is the function fp that we saw above so it's the fp function of error and then hq function of error we also saw this above and tau2 is minus s over magnitude of uh, the norm of s the sliding surface times u where u is 1 over 1 minus gamma times k plus b naught plus p2 and so th so this is the total uh, control law that has been developed in this paper similarly this gamma in the in this uh, sub sub term of the control u uh, this is some uh, bounding term between 0 and 1 so this gamma is given by you know this 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 is nominal matrix if you bound the norm of the nominal nominal matrix by m1 and m2 from above and below then a gamma will be m2 minus m1 divided by m1 plus m2 to less than 1 so it's it's basically a number between 0 and 1 so um here uh this the, let's go right to the end so here there's another remark that instead of tau2 being s over norm of s times u you can also have tau2 to become s over s norm plus s naught into u that will make the control a little bit smoother and this is the numerical example that we are going to simulate today here this uh, two degree of freedom robotic model uh, robotic manipulator model where m is these equations c g are given where p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 everything is given these are the parameter values they are also given this is the desirable trajectory and the initial conditions so everything is given so they have compared their uh, proposed controller with this controller which has been uh, proposed earlier in the one of the reference papers i'm not going to simulate this controller i am only interested in the controller that has been proposed in this paper so we will be simulating only one controller that has been proposed in this paper and then later on you can go ahead and uh, use this video to simulate more control laws which have been uh, simulated in this paper if you are so when we open the when we open the matlab we can just you know uh, write this uh, function we can start writing the function file first of all we have to write down the uh, the parameter values so let me just uh, scroll this up and you can see here uh, 
let's put this down here so you can see here these parameter values are given so we can just uh, write them down so g1 is 9.8 uh, m1 m2 these are also uh, given r1 r2 uh, the lengths of the manipulator then inertia is also given j1 j2 so p1 this equation this is the this this p1 equation and then this p2 is also given here p3 p4 here in p3 this is m r2 square so i'm assuming this is m2 times r2 square because that's uh, the, what only makes sense to me uh, then p6 is this this equation that we write here in the code and then we write the m matrix which is which is this one and then we write the c matrix which is which is this one here instead of q1 q2 we have x1 x2 and instead of q1 dot we have x3 this is q1 dot and this is q2 dot and this x1 will be q1 and x2 will be q2 so having said that we keep moving and we define the g g is given right here and then we define the desirable values of the trajectory x1 desire which is given here x1 desire is q1 desire which is 1.25 minus 7 by 5 exponent of minus t and so on and then we define uh, the derivative of x1 desire uh, i you have to take the derivative manually this is an exponential function so very easy to take the derivative we will be needing the derivative of the desirable state trajectory in the control equation so that's why we need it here so x2 desire this is q2 desire given here so this is the same thing in the line number 13 of the code and then the derivative of x2 desire that we will be needing this is the error so error is x1 minus x1 desire x2 minus x2 desire so this is a vector of 2 cross 1 similarly the derivative of error is x3 minus the derivative of x1 desire and x4 minus the derivative of x4 desire so uh, derivative of x2 desire so this, this that's why we calculated these these derivatives because we will be uh, we, we need them in the expression for the derivative of the error now um, we continue in this fashion we define the the parameters for the control which are also given here so k0 k1 k2 these are all diagonal matrix of 2 by 2 this is delta p q these are also given in the paper see this is delta this is p this is q r k so these are all values that are given in the paper and then we continue writing this now we go to this uh, sliding surface so we write the sliding surface which is given above uh, here um, you can say this is if you go up yeah here so here this is the sliding surface equation 20 which is line number 19 in the code and then you can keep going so within this line there is a sp function that we have used so if you go if you want to know what is sp function let me show you so sp is uh, just this function that if you need to define it like this because in this function you will be needing uh, the variable on which the function is called and you will be needing the value of delta and the value of p because here sp is defined in terms of x but you don't need just x you also need to know the delta and you also need to know this p so if you know, know this p and this delta then you can apply this equation in the form of if else in the function so then let me just save this 
go back to this guy and uh, continue writing our code so tau zero that is the function given here uh, here so tau zero you just write it so instead of using the nominal masses although nominal masses are given in the paper i have not used them because they are not very different from the actual mass you can use instead of here m you can use m naught and instead of c you can use c naught uh, the only difference will be the masses used in these two matrices will be the nominal masses instead of the the actual masses so that's then next is the this tau one equation which is this one here you have sig power r s so i have not defined a separate function for this i have just used absolute of s1 time uh, absolute of s1 raised power r into sine of s1 so this is sig power r of s1 and similarly sig power r of s2 so this is i just maximize this so that you can see here this is tau tau 1 equation and then gamma it's not explicitly given in the paper but i know that gamma is some value between 0 and 1 so i can just choose a value to be close to 1 to be on the safe side u is given in the paper you can see here that u is uh, this equation so writing this equation in the in the code right here and then tau 2 is also given in the paper but i have not used this tau 2 like this one i have used the tau 2 which is given below um, this uh, this one so this tau 2 is better so i have used this one and then uh, tau is just tau 0 plus tau 1 plus tau 2 and then uh, there is some uh, restriction on the control signals so uh, in order to reflect the actuator saturation they have uh, put restriction on the control signal that uh, one of the control signal cannot be greater than 100 and another one cannot be greater than 50 so this we can apply here so in the paper i think this is written somewhere here so tau max is 100 comma 50 so one control cannot be greater than 100 and another cannot be greater than the second one cannot be greater than 50 so next we write this uh, this d part the disturbance in the system that is also given um, let's see it's given so these are the these are these are the m1 m2 masses and they have also given uh, nominal masses somewhere around here uh, but uh, anyways so this uh, disturbance is this guy so this disturbance i have used here and then you can write uh, the dynamics so x1 dot equal x3 x2 dot equal x4 and x three and x4 dot i have combined them into a single equation this is m inverse tau minus c times c times q dot minus g minus disturbance and then this completes our function file so we just uh, save it and then next we go into the uh, robot the script file for for this simulation All right so for the script file we just uh, use clc close all we call the ode45 function and we call this this function uh, rob rob manipulator smc that we just uh, completed and then we have uh, these okay these parameter values are repeated because i'm going to uh, <clears throat> i'm going to show you the plot of the control signal as well so in order to so this code is basically the repetition of this code that we written here so we need this repetition because we want to plot the control signal so x1 desire x2 desire notice that the t here is no longer uh, just a scalar time it's a vector that will be computed from ode45 
so it will be the, a lot of values uh, and then tau uh, this is the initialization of the control and the control values will be as much as the number of values in the time signal and it will have two col two columns because we have two motors in the system so now we have four loop for one to length of time we recursively define all of the remaining things inside the for loop because we need controller at every time step so the code from here to the all the way down here so this code will be copied in in here so the only difference is instead of using x2 you will use x of i comma 2 instead of using x3 or x1 so wherever there is a x vector there will be you will be using x i comma 1 xi comma 2 xi comma 3 and xi comma 4 so this will be the only difference and then you can just uh, recreate the same code sliding surface tau 0 tau 1 u and whenever there is also wherever there is t so instead of t you will be using t of i because t and x have been computed here so they are no longer like single values so these are the initial conditions that are given in the paper that we provide to the ODE45 function and we simulate for 5 seconds because in the original paper results have been simulated for 5 seconds. We can also simulate for longer if, if you want. Then uh, this is the uh, tau i so uh, ith control effort you will calculate from tau 0 plus tau 1 plus tau to as you do in the other file and as has been done in the paper so this is the restriction on the control that one control signal cannot be greater than 100 and another cannot be greater than uh, 50 now now you can plot this plot x1 x2 uh, x1 minus x1 desire which will be the error in the first joint uh, reference tracking and uh, x2 minus x2 desire this will be the error in the tracking of the second joint then this will be the plot of the controllers so So this is where we are so we just save it and notice this we have also used another function fp here so fp will be the function based on uh, on this file so here this there is this function fp um, <clears throat> so there this this function fp you can write this so in order to do fp you need to know x you need to know p you need to know delta so this fp will have uh, three uh, inputs and then you can just use if else to implement uh, implement this 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 conditional definition of the function so then finally when you have done everything you can just uh, go back to your script file and you can run this file and once you run this you now you can see here this is the plot of the control uh, red one is the second control input and the blue one is the first control input notice this input is from minus 100 to 100 and the other one is from minus 50 to 50 and these are the responses of the error so error in q1 starts from 0 0.08 and goes to 0 within 0.5 seconds and here this error goes to 0 also in like 0.5 seconds so this uh, this is it for today i think uh, i hope that this video will help uh, help you in uh, uh, simulating uh, just uh, simulating the sliding mode control that we have discussed today in this paper for the robotic manipulator uh, once again this uh, they have uh, plotted they have simulated uh, the control that they have proposed and the controls that have been proposed earlier 
so what I have shown you is only the control that is latest and I have not plotted these older controllers where this sliding surface is like this towels are uh, differently defined so you can do this uh, on your own because uh, once you learn how things work uh, then you can just uh, once again to recap the whole scenario we wrote the robotic manipulator file with all the constants the dynamics and the control equation then we wrote the script file uh, with the copy of some most of the code in the robotic manipulator original function file because we wanted to simulate or recreate the control control signal and we have this two additional functions sp and fp uh, in order to uh, implement the defined uh, custom defined functions in the paper so thank you very much for watching this video 